Hey everyone, hope you're okay, enjoying lockdown as best as you can. Um, it's today and it's time for my vlog. It's gonna be on growth. Um, I've come outside as you can see here, um, getting a bit of fresh air, um, but really it's to introduce what I'm gonna talk about today, um, how plants and seeds can show us how we can grow as Christians. So carry on watching. So welcome everybody to my back garden. And uh, as you can see from the back there, this is a problem of growth. Uh, my lawn's overgrown and the lawnmower's packed up halfway through. That's one of the challenges that we get. But going back to seeds and plants, what three things do plants and seeds need to grow? Well, they need to have sunlight. They need to have water. And one other thing, which is soil. So in terms of the sunlight, the sunlight is really like God. It's there, it's constant, it's radiant, and it's where all life comes from. Without the sun, nothing would grow. So just like God, we need that in our life. So plants also need water. And we've got something that we need each day. But it's not quite water, it's something called the Bible. And then finally, the other thing that we need is soil. Now the soil for us is our fellowship with our friends, our Christian friends, and going to church. And by having that each day and being planted and embedded in that, we can really grow and flourish. So sometimes it can be hard to grow. So when we're in the garden, we have tools that can help us grow. So what could that mean for us as Christians? Well, it could mean a devotional, it could be a small group, or it could be a chat with one of our Christian friends. Also, we could have some plant seed. And that could be something such as a really cool sermon from Yona, Kevin, Mandy, or Nigel. So guys, this is my seed box, and it just shows you that your seed, or whatever you want to plant, can be something really, really different. It could be something like these onions, which we can eat, or tomatoes, which are really tasty, or it could be some nice flowers that flower and look beautiful, or even some lavender, which looks and smells really nice too. But ultimately, it's all about the type of seed you want to plant. As you can see here, we've got a sunflower plant, and these sunflower seeds are quite large. But then if we look at the Californian poppy here, the poppy is a very, very small seed indeed. And what I want to say and share to you guys, if I can open it, is basically that this, this seed here is very, very small. So when you're looking to grow in your faith, it doesn't have to be something big, but it can be something very, very small, but that will still grow and flower. Nothing grows in the garden without your hands getting dirty. So basically, we get a load of soil in our hand and then we line the pot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of these really small seeds, these poppy seeds here, and we're just gonna sprinkle them in. And then by adding the water, adding the sunlight and this lovely soil, they will grow. And then guys, if we give it the right condition, We've got a nice home for them. We've got the sun, we've got the, uh, the water, and we've got the soil. Things will grow. And let's see what happens. Now, as you can see, if you give it time and you have the right conditions, you get growth and you get beautiful things. You get plants that are growing stronger by the day that are reaching upwards. And in the case of these flowers down here, they're actually reaching and leaning towards the sun. So if we can reach and lean towards God, Jesus, then we're halfway there and we're really, really gonna grow and flourish in our faith. As you can see here, it doesn't look like there's anything growing. It's been like this for about a week or two. You're wondering, is it gonna flower? Is anything happening beneath the surface? I might give up. What I would say is don't, because if we're very gentle, and very patient. Look at that. We've got something that's growing. It's gonna come out soon. It needs to take its time, but it is there and it will flourish. And that could be you. So we're gonna be very gentle and put these things back in and let that continue to germinate in here in the right conditions. And then that'll flourish and be beautiful one day. So if that's you and you're wondering, I can't see anything that's happening, it might be just below the surface. So keep at it. So the one thing that seeds have got in common is that they're all small. They're all small, but they have the potential to grow into really big things. Take a look at these trees. They're huge, but they started off really small. So if you can start off by making a change, a difference, or something really small right now, it could be something that's quite profound, big, and will impact on your environment. 
So let me just encourage you to read a Bible verse, to pray each day, to do a devotional, or even help some friends or a neighbour during this lockdown, because that could be something that could help you grow as well as make a difference. And then one day, those things could flower. If you're not seeing that change right now, don't give up. Don't be disheartened. It will come. It could be a Bible verse that's on your heart that won't come to fruition for a year or two, but that will come back because of maybe a devotional or a bit of reading you did today. So let me encourage you to keep growing, keep sticking at it. Even though we're in lockdown, you can still grow. There are house plants. You don't have to be outside. House plants growing indoors. But in the meantime, guys, God bless. I wish you well and happy lockdown.